Hello everyone and welcome to The Public Space, a show where we speak about uh, ponies. Absolutely, absolutely monetizable. Now this is advertiser friendly. <laughs> It's a celebration of ponies in general, ponies of all colors. This particular pony is green, a green pony, but it, it could be purple. It could be purple. It could be rainbow colored as well. <laughs> <laughs> I think that James Charles is in enough trouble. Uh, I think I would like the attention of the mediatic inquiry more on him and away from me. I'm looking to, like Tim Poo, quit and be a little more in nature and at peace with myself. All right, so let's listen to this non-gay boy. Well, non-gay. This guy may be the gayest non-gay. This guy went up to the point of hanging out with a gay guy. And he was not sure. That's what we call bicurious. He was not sure if he wanted to try the dick straight in his ass. And he, end, he, he ended up doing a, a decent choice, which is to not get the dick in the ass. Uh, look at these uh, mushrooms. Whoa, 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 whoa. Unbelievable. Look at how they spread. Isn't that amazing? What the fuck is happening here? This mushroom is just deploying a, a grid. A matrix. This is a fictional world. Boom. Unbelievable. All right, sisters, we are officially back home. I am alive and well. The dust is gone. I showered this morning and I'm still not sick. Fingers crossed that it stays that way. Knock on freaking wood. I am not trying to die because I have a lot going on in the next few days, but yeah. Notice the little uh, clothing pin here. This is not an actual earring. It's a clothing pin. And it shows a desire for rebellion. Rebellion uh, against fashion. Rebellion against structure. Rebellion against the function of the objects in our life. A clothing pin is used to tie a diaper or to, uh, to, to, to stick two things together. And he wears it on his hair. Yeah, hope everyone's having a beautiful Monday and an amazing start to their brand new week. I am actually going to be traveling today for some very, very exciting meetings. Whew, the fucking grind, literally. By the way, how, how do they get to speak like that? It's certainly forced speech. That is not an, an American accent. It is a very lips fatty accent. I, I don't even know if I could reproduce it. Hey, everyone. Ah, uh, it is. Oh yeah, oh yeah. He's lowering his jaw. Ah, uh, I would like to say that. Oh my God. Really never stops, but I am so ready and so excited for some very, very. That is the effect of someone who's forcing his jaw down toward his neck as he speaks. Cool things coming very, very soon. Um, I tweeted earlier that in tomorrow's brand new video, there will be an announcement that I have been waiting to make for dead ass two years now, okay? Two years this has been in the making and I cannot wait for you guys to see exactly what it is of people. The video about his ass, from what I understand. People have guessed. About a dozen signs found here in Winchester, people we talk to say they don't even know what it means. The sign itself is confusing, it's subject to interpretation. I really don't know because everybody has their own opinion and I respect it. <laughs> <laughs> this girl, this girl is the only one in all of this who has the balls to say, 
yeah you know uh, uh th there's nothing disrespectful here uh islam is right about women uh, it depends on who said this uh, they, they may be right everybody's entitled to say whatever they want anita davison says she spotted this flyer wednesday morning on main street in winchester center it says islam is right about women i tore the first one down and then when i saw a second one i decided to bring it to the police department here people in town say that she brought it to the police department for what <laughs> I think the signs are referring to strict laws applied to women. I think that um, putting signs up that make people feel uncomfortable is unfortunate, particularly in this time and age. I asked the cop, if you caught me posting a sign like that on one of these polls, would you arrest me? The officer said it's complicated. Technically, it's illegal to post signs like that, any signs on street polls, but it's hard to enforce. And because of freedom of speech and because that post wasn't threatening, it'd be similar to posting a photo of your missing cat. We need to learn from this. We need to be able to meme as much as the person who did this. this. It is absolute public art. Cat. I assume it's negative. Not. That's not cool. <laughs> it's not a cool thing to do. It's just upsetting. I just didn't like it. It just wasn't necessary. <laughs> <laughs> and she's down to saying her feelings of upsetness. Because if she reasons in any way with the statement there, she's going to be forced to admit that either Islam is wrong about women, <laughs> can, can a religion be wrong? Uh, and then that would make her look like uh, a bigot. Or she must admit that Islam is right about women. Sorry to be up and out in the streets. When she saw these signs in Winchester Center, she ripped them down, took them to police and alerted social media. Islam is right about women? What? For women, the mess- <laughs> What? <laughs> they know. They know. Message is insulting and unnerving. I think it's disgusting. It's unsettling. It's a somewhat of a misconception that, like, Islam, I guess, hates women. It's either- But the misconception was in your head because the sign doesn't say that. The sign says Islam is right about women. And so if you have a conception of Islam that is accepting of women, then you agree with the sign. Uh, about women, it's either about Islam, it's about both. I'm not really sure what point. <laughs> the confusion. It's either about women, it's about... There's something going on here. There's something I don't like, all right? <sighs> they were trying to make but either way it was just it was terrible that kind of sign is very upsetting to anyone with either an islamic background or for many women the winchester multicultural network also now aware saying to whoever did it i think it's short-sighted i think it's unfortunate i don't know that you've gained and anything that you wanted so <laughs> We, we gained a, a gold mine of lulls more than anything that the guy probably originally expected. Uh, look at our, look at the state in which he is. He's not even, he doesn't even have makeup. And that, um, a lot of people look up to me as a role model. And it makes me I hate knowing that I disappointed not only them, but most importantly, two people that have been role models to me doing this. Um, I wish that I could say this is the last time that I would make a mistake, but it won't be. I know that we disappoint people. There's been a lot of noise in the last few days about this uh, men spreading thing. Those chairs have been designed by some communist feminist to force the men into not men spreading. Um, men spreading is not a problem. It's never been. Uh, some men will extend their knees in that position when place is available but i've never heard of men refuse to 
to to compress themselves when someone is in the need of a seat. Secondly, men spreading is a problem because you communists are forming towns with millions of people and you're transporting yourself using public communist transportations. I've never heard of men spreading being a problem on my couch. I've never heard of men spreading being a problem at the church. The problem of men spreading is neither the man nor the spreading. It's the communism around him. Uh, so these chairs, of course, uh, they are an attack on male testicles and their ability to, to have space. I mean, I've been warning you guys, they're going for your bowels and your reproductive organs. And that's just the beginning. They're trying to squish your bowels between your legs. And when you resist, when you take action, they will try more. New vegan sleep vitamins. And first of all, they taste so bomb. But most important, they taste so good. I believe he said, I don't know the word he used. I've been dealing with a lot of anxiety recently. and So here he is. He's talking to his young audience. <laughs> who are very impressionable and he's saying look do you feel anxious at night well these pills may help you so at this point he's selling close to fake medication it oh they taste bomb oh bomb oh okay i, I wasn't aware that this was a word bomb and it always comes late at night when I'm laying in bed thinking, which is not fun or fresh. Um, so I've been taking these. See, thinking is not fun or fresh. Well, when you are mentally healthy, like Papa Jeff, thinking is quite good. Uh, it's not something you will have difficulties to do. This guy needs more than a sugar bear pill. Howard B says, Perg Rage versus Downy Strength. Who wins? Uh, I don't know, <laughs> but it's a funny, it's a funny thing to think about. Jeff, will you be making use of the state-enforced ball waxing in Canada? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, uh, I, I don't realize, but I can now have my testicles massaged by, by a, a young Asian woman. Uh, for 12 bucks uh, and uh, I just need to accept that there's going to be wax between our fingers and my balls and it might hurt at the moment where she pulls the wax but isn't it worth it oh, no. to Why? get a ball massage? Why well, did you do that to engender? Yeah, Why? now Mama Jeff needs to compete. <laughs> You, you will need to touch my balls for zero dollar because I can I can get the service for twelve dollar now. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Be open to someone who says, Jeff, this entire graph is bullshit. But I need someone with the fucking thermometers. MTM says, Jeff, you have nice elbows. Absolutely. Look at this elbow. Absolutely. Caucasian phenotype. This is why Mama Jeff chose me. The elbow. <sighs> so I, I, I need something. I, I need not a guy saying it's all bullshit. I need a guy with a thermometer. Let's have a look at this news item. He said an anti-psychotic drug caused him to grow breast. Now Johnson & Johnson owes him eight billion dollars. What? Eight billion dollars for breast? I can take some breast for eight billion dollars? The conference we talked about at the beginning, uh, I've left a link in the description below. And for those of you who want to watch the after show, there's a link to Duvid's YouTube channel and Twitter. Follow him, and in a, I believe in a few minutes he will be starting his stream. Martin Geoffrey Das and Stan Bucks, he says, I posit that the subtle phenomena believed in and reported will be better understood by experience and activity of what may be called the energetic heart. Streamlabs not working for me. 
Well, I don't know the energetic art. I will have to Google this. I have no clue what you're talking about, Martin. But I'll Google it and I'll talk about it next show. Uh, Duvid, thank you so much for coming. It is always a great pleasure talking to you. Bye bye. Was he was he hearing me at the end of the show? <laughs> he wasn't responding.